Kylian Mbappe with a hat trick yesterday against Barcelona in the round of 16 of the Champions League. So today, we're going to be playing through his career. So if you guys watch my channel, we do the Player Rewind series where I'll take a player, revert them back to their old FIFA rating, put them back to the first club they ever played for, and I'll play through their career then. This is going to be sort of the same series except we're going to be taking younger players and then just going through and we'll take Kylian Mbappe right here keep him where he's at since he's already young and just play through his career currently where he's at today basically the player rewind with younger players so we have Mbappe 90 rated 95 potential we're going to play through five seasons of his career and try to make him one of the greatest of all time that you know what Mbappe to be honest already is one of the greatest of all time maybe not yet though we're gonna make him there I mean he's on his way I should say to being one of the best of all time he doesn't need my help let's get into this one boys if you guys go on to enjoy leave a big old thumbs up let me know who we should do next every week I'm gonna go back and forth between doing just a normal playthrough and then a player rewind so give me some young players some old players and uh we'll see who we do next week also smack the like button let's go for 10k likes so for the first time ever in the history of this series I'm going to be doing this. We're going to be tracking how Kylian Mbappe does in the World Cup. I'm going to be accepting a job with France so that hopefully, yeah, basically wherever we go, we're going to be able to you know, check out the World Cup and every other international competition he's in. All right, Kylian Mbappe, I mean, we already know the man's got 95 potential. So once we hit that mark, the odds are that we'll probably get him to 99. Hopefully, I would say by season three at the latest. It might be a little bit difficult to bump that potential up super, super quickly. It might be super easy. I don't know. So what do we want to focus on? Because this one is just an easy one to start out. This is basically just to see how good we can make Mbappe. The man's starting at a 90 overall. Like this, hopefully in five seasons, we're going to get to see him score over 200 goals and I think if we don't win at least five trophies, and that is including international trophies, this episode will be a fail. We're going to start, you know, let's do weak foot. Let's um get him the five-star weak foot and we'll be good. So season one, we will be keeping him here at PSG, but just like he's probably going to do in real life, he will be moving soon. So this is going to be a one and done season at PSG. And then next year, who knows where he'll be off to. Let's get into this season one. All right, so we have season one. We'll play season two. We'll get the 2020 World Cup. We'll get the 2024 Euros. I think those are the only two national-like competitions that we're going to play in. Here we go, season one. PSG. I mean, PSG always wins the league, so this is an easy first trophy. They literally always win the league. There's... There's no point in really even arguing. It's a free trophy with PSG every year. That's just usually how League One works. It's, yeah, it's just a free trophy. This one will not count. We never count that little preseason one where it's like the, I don't know, I guess, yeah, that's what it's called there. Basically, the the, the cup where the, the league winner and the cup winner play each other. We don't count that one, okay? We are not in the final, though. This one, mad. Wow, we got bounced early. Wait, did we get bounced? What the f why are we just not trying in these it's like in these competitions it almost feels as if teams play their second team just because they don't care like what all right champions league let's see how we did it'd be really impressive if we could win it in season one but i feel like psg usually doesn't so we lose to sevilla bro is that really how it's gonna go huh wow yeah i mean 100 percent. i'm getting out of here in the first season what the f what is that one season in and my man's is already up to a 95, a 94, excuse me, overall. Wow. Okay, Mbappe, you are the GOAT. You are, you're not already the GOAT. You're well on your way. Let's see it. 94, how many goals? One trophy, 28 goals and seven assists. You know what? For someone improving that much in the first season, I was expecting a little bit better. Season two, we go. We don't need to show you the stat update. I, I will eventually, but season one, you guys know. It's just like, you just saw what happened. We are, one thing I should note though, is we are up to 99 potential. So who knows, man? This season, we we could maybe even get up to that 99 overall. So I've got a plan with Mbappe of what I kind of want to do in his career. And it involves, well, obviously getting rid of him in this first season. We could stay here and we could keep winning league on, but I don't really want to do that. Now comes the difficult part, though. It's seeing which clubs can afford Mbappe. And we're going to be moving him to big clubs for the first few years, but we're going to be using that trade feature in one year, 100% down the road. I don't know when it's going to be. We're going to move Mbappe to a bit of a smaller club just to see how he'll do. We got one. If this is Real Madrid, it's going to be perfect because it'll be so realistic. And it's Man City. 
And at this point, it is a trade too with Phil Foden. At this point, I'm accepting it because we're not going to get many offers. We're just going to try to move him to every big club I think that I can get an offer for in the first few seasons. And then again, like I said, what I want to do in my final season is move him to a small club. What club will that be? We'll find out, but uh, accepting this for now, Mbappe is off to City. Here we go, moving to Manchester City. We don't even have to have this problem with like playthroughs like this. Usually, in a rewind, I'd be like, oh god, in the second season, we're moving to a bigger club. Is our player going to be starting? Mbappe is probably the highest rated player in the game at this point. He, no, he, he, it's not just is he, he 100% is the highest rated player in the game. Who else has this team added though? That's the real question. Asensio and Naki Williams, they've signed a ton of young players to this team. Still have Nathan Ake, Laporte, up to an 88. Yeah, this team's good. This team is uh, its going to be very good. Angelino doesn't even play. They already have Cancelo there. There is, I mean, this, this team, if this team doesn't win us some trophies, it's either because we screwed up somewhere along the way against another massive club, or I don't even know. Liverpool maybe could stop us. I'm, I'm not really, I'm trying to think of other clubs that at the beginning of career mode could be this team right here. This is actually so bad. Oh my God. Man City got a steal on Mbappe. He was worth so much more, but I just, I accepted the offer. I don't, I'll leave PSG in the dust. I don't care. All right. 99 potential, but it's, it's looking like it's still going to be pretty hard to upgrade this man. I just don't know what stats we go for. Probably target man, right? <laughs> if we're like, we're going for some defensive stats, heading accuracy, dribbling, Definitely physical, so yeah, target man. Honestly, after this season, we might just want to keep him on balance to just grow a bit of everything. Okay, season two, we still have the next off season. Yeah, the next off season is gonna be the Euros, so that is gonna be sick. Euros coming up soon, absolutely perfect. We'll get that and uh, let's go into it. What are we saying? If Mbappe doesn't win a Champions League final in just this entire episode, I, no one can win a Champions League title. It might never happen. Here we go. Let's check it out. First off, Spurs. Spurs is the team that beat us by five points as well. Wow. That's, that's really bad. FA Cup. All right. Step number two. Burnley. Burnley. Okay. We lost to... Birmingham City, really? Okay. Champions League? No. Nope. Lost to Real Madrid, right. That, I don't even know what to say about that. I, I literally just sat here, just not even, I, have a, I don't have a word in my mouth. What? Serbio Cup 2. Can't even win that. Man City, my hopes, my hopes were so high for you guys. What the hell was that second season? Okay, 97 overall. One year away from being a 99, I would, I would assume. Wow. I'm actually stunned at that. Man, City, we're getting the hell out of here. What was that? That was so bad. All right. Kylian Mbappe, 38, at least he scored a crap ton of goals. I mean, we'll take that. But that is just brutal. What a terrible season. Right, so we got the World Cup. Did I say this was going to be the Euros? It's the World Cup. If I said that, I'm sorry. France, Poland, Mexico in the Ivory Coast is in Group F definitely a winnable group this would be i mean the trophy of all trophies to win if we can potentially pull this off all right i am just going to simply sim through the group stages so here we go draw win win okay should be through the group there and of course we are switzerland in the round is 16 all of your other teams to advance all right we will be counting this as a trophy we will be counting all of these goals as well so let's get this competition over with here and see if we can win this this will be the first world cup win in the history of the series if we can do it let's do it this is it the moment of truth we have simmed to the end of july and there should be a world cup winner and here it is the winner of the world cup this better freaking say france come on Germany wins, bro. It's always got to be Germany, and it's Colombia. All right, at least give us the third place game. Switch. That means we lost in the round of 16, doesn't it? Oh, my God. We lost to Switzerland, bro. Oh, no. That's so bad. I mean, we'll count these goals in Mbappe. Well, should we count qualifier goal? I guess we got to count everything, right? 
Wow, I was expecting a trophy there, man. All right, hold up. Let's see. So Mbappe gets himself 10 goals and one assist there. And then let's see what he got for the actual World Cup. That's terrible, man. So 10 and 1. I literally passed France. What am I doing? 10 and 1. And then he gets himself um, one goal. In, wow, he had a terrible World Cup. Here's where we're at going into Season 3. We have ourselves. I mean, this is going to be a record for rating and goals and everything else. Maybe, maybe not trophies. Yikes. Only one trophy so far. But 77 goals, 20 assists. He's going to be 90 overall by the end of this season. Like, that's just crazy. Oh, no. And Bappe is not on the team anymore. Okay, this means one of two. Yeah, he's not. He's nowhere to be found. Okay, this means one of two things, right? First off, it could just mean that he joined on a either pre-contract or someone ended up going out and well, what's the word for it? Uh, pre-contract or release clause? One of the two. Yeah. What am I saying? Pre-contract or release clause? Or he's just a free agent now, which would be bad. Because usually if high-rated players become free agents, people just, didn't, they're young, they don't like to sign them. He's literally a free agent. Oh, what do I do here? You know what I think I'm going to do? We are going to move him to whatever club we want now because he's a free agent. We've never had this happen before. I've never had a player become a free agent. Let me do this first. I will sign him to a club, but I'll give other teams a chance to sign them. I'll give them till transfer window deadline day. So I will go to August 31st. Well, Sim, if no team signs him, I get to choose the team he goes to. And I probably will choose a big club, but let's find out. All right, here it is. This is it. The final, final day. I'm getting all thrown off here of the transfer window. God, imagine no one signs a 97 Mbappe for free. That would just be stupid. Here you go. Mbappe is still a free agent. So we're just going to move him to the club that we want to move him to. And here it is. Real Madrid is the team. And Mbappe is going to the club that it's looking most likely like he's about to join in real life. All we have to do now is actually sign him to the club, though. Like, that was just me becoming manager. I have to sign him officially to the club, which shouldn't be hard. The man probably wants to play football this year, I would assume. Look at the con. That's probably why. No one wants to pay him that much money in wages. That's ridiculous. Holy crap. He might act. This actually might be tough. Because transferring him away from a club like this. You know what? Let's give him that release clause. If someone wants to pay that, sure, they can. Why does it say the recommended wage is that much? I'm so confused. Whatever. Accept it. Okay, Real Madrid. Let's check out the team. Gonna have to change the formation. We'll go with the 4-3-3 attack. And let's throw him in. Who else does this team have? So... All right, Benzema's going to have to stay on the bench. Vinicius up to an 85. That's really good. Let's throw you there. Let's throw Vinicius there. Odegaard in for Cruz. Cruz in for Casemiro. They have Aguero. I didn't even see that. <laughs> Freaking Aguero on this team, bro. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it looks good, but I thought Man City also looked good. And we saw how that turned out. This season, development-wise, let's... Uh, let, what are we doing? Should we go... Oh, wow. So he's 99 potential, but everything is like this. Oh boy. Is he actually going to be able to grow to 99? This is going to be interesting. Season three, this is a make or break year. If we can't start winning trophies fast, I, I don't know. Five trophies is the goal. If we can't average one trophy per season with a player this high rating, we got ourselves some issues. Let's go. Real Madrid, I beg. I'm begging, I'm pleading, Mbappe, whoever. Whoever's got to hear this. Let's, let's win some freaking trophies. Come on, let's go. No! What is happening? Is it, is it Mbappe? Is it just the teams that I'm joining? Barcelona. We can't even get top three. This is ridiculous. Oh my god. No. Please. I don't even know what to say. I, I don't even know what to say, man. If, but the dude's got to be 99. He's 98. How is... What is happening? I, 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 I'm just at a loss. I have no idea. Uh, okay. Um, 30 goals for Keelan and Mbappe. 11 assists. I don't even know what to do. Like, I don't know where to move him. Do we just... Do we move him to the clubs that are winning? Should I just move him to Liverpool? Wait for a Liverpool offer to happen? Like, even then, we'll probably join Liverpool and just... We'll take them to shambles. Like, this is... I, I have no idea how this is happening. Right, there is some good news. We're on 107 goals and 31 assists. That's, that's about it for the good news, though, <laughs> to be honest. Kylian Mbappe is um, doing all right. I mean, 
it that the man just can't win a trophy, it seems. I mean, he's got one, but the one is in League 1. It's just, that's a guaranteed trophy if you play for PSG. It shouldn't even count, to be honest. This is going to be another issue now. Like, who's going to be able to afford this man at 98 overall? I'm surprised he's not 99. I really am. I hope he still has 99 potential, though. Add it to the transfer list. Like, yeah, who's going to sign him? It's just like, who's going to be able to afford this dude? We got one. We got one. Hold up. Hold up. Please be Liverpool. Please be Liverpool. Man, City won him back? No. Literally any other club I would have accepted. I can't go to Man City twice, like, right after we left. No. I just need an offer to not be from Man City. I just need one more offer. And guess what we're not getting? One more offer. Or at least I haven't yet. I've gotten, yeah, no club. No Teams, no. You got to give up everything. You literally have to sell the team and then add an extra 100 million on to be able to buy Bappe at this point. This might just turn into a situation where if by the last day, yeah, if by the last day I can't sell him, basically what I'm gonna have to do is do the trade scenario. And I might just end up trading him to Liverpool. I might just have to. But yeah, there's no offers. Literally not a single offer besides City. I'm gonna give it until the Valencia game. And then he's being traded to Liverpool. There's just nothing else I can do. There's no way to get rid of a player who's this high rated. No one is putting in any sort of an offer. Yep. Okay. Well, it's happening. You're being traded to Liverpool. I want to make this somewhat realistic, though. I I, I, I want to give them someone. I want to make a trade that's going to be worth it for both sides. You know what I mean? It's just like, it wouldn't, it wouldn't make sense. Like, let's see if they'll do, like, Martinez for Mbappe. It, I mean, it isn't that realistic. Mbappe's obviously... 10 ratings almost 10 ratings better than martinez but at least it's giving them something in return and it's making it it's making it fair right so strikers in Bappe, straight up for martinez should be the easiest except of klopp's life to be honest yep he says yes and Bappe is joining liverpool i know this isn't the most legit way to do it i'd rather it be an actual offer but with a player this high rated this is probably the only example of this we'll have in this series we never start with a player who's 90 overall it's never happened before so it, yeah this is just this is just a completely different scenario so here we go Let's switch formations we can't well we could play mbappe on the wing but i'm not gonna do that maybe the 4-3-3 attack is just not the formation maybe that's just not it maybe we'll do the 4-3 hmm, what do we do here the false nine just doesn't work because we just don't have a cam on the team let's let's do the holding 433 holding it just basically you know what let's do this actually let's do the false nine but move you up so it's technically the false nine but the striker i don't know if that's gonna do anything but i'd like to think it maybe will probably not all right here we go the team actually just looks fire i mean tret's at a 92 like this is a really good squad we'll let the cpu do what they got to do with this team and this is it basically for the champions league well it might be i'd like to i really just want to win the champions league let's just keep on balance yeah balanced uh development let's win the champions league this year get him a few trophies so that next year i can move him to a smaller team that's what i wanted to do from the start i want to move him to like a small team in england if possible i don't know if it's going to be but like i'm gonna we're gonna try to do it i'm literally begging you game please please come on if it, if it doesn't even have to be the champions league right well it kind of does if we don't win the champions league this year i'm gonna just scratch the whole idea of going to a smaller club and i'm just gonna ride it out we're just gonna find one more big club to go to okay All right you should have went back to man city i guess should have went to spurs probably spurs have been winning everything It's just like whatever club we go to, we can't win. I I don't even know what to say. The man's freaking 99 overall and can't find a team that is able to help him win a single trophy. I don't know. It's like, am I doing something wrong here, guys? Can someone tell me? What did he do? And he oh, Wow, that's the worst season he's had yet. Does that mean he got injured? 23 goals and 11 assists, man. Euro time. This would be a good trophy to win, but we have a... Ah, yeah, we got France, Belgium, Hungary, Greece. Okay. All right. Not bad. Here's the rest of the groups for you guys. We need a revenge here. A revenge tour after losing to freaking Switzerland in the, the round of 16 of the World Cup. That was so bad. All right. This one, though, I'm just going to... 
We're just gonna sim to the end of it, right? I have to go to the next season and we're just gonna sim through it. Let's go. And here we go, please, man. This would this would make up for so much just to win one, like obviously competition here. The the Euros would be sick. Just one of these international trophies. Here we go. England Turk. Spain at the bottom, bro. What? That's wild. France. Belgium didn't make it. I mean, I guess a few third place teams go through, but what? Italy, Portugal, Netherlands, Germany. A few like shockers there. All right. Here we go. We got Turkey in the quarterfinals and it's a win. Semifinals. It's a win. We're on to the final versus Italy. Please, game. So much has gone wrong for us this episode. Please. Yes. Oh my God. Yes, Mbappe. You're not a complete disgrace to, to your country and, and to everyone who's trained you your whole career. And like, oh my God, it's the first trophy since season one. I got to count all these. Qualifiers, seven goals, four assists. And in the actual competition, he gets himself four in one. Let's go, man. All right, going into the final season, this is your update. He finally has two trophies, two. He has 140. Oh, wow. I mean, the goals and assists are just incredible. The trophies, it's just like, what do we do this last season? So we got to just sit here and wait for an offer is what we have to do, actually. I, I would love for him to have moved to a smaller club, but just can't right now, man. Just can't. We can't. We got to wait for an offer. The only, the only way I'm going to be able to trade him is if we do not get an offer, which, you know what, very well could happen. Literally, no one can afford him. It's understandable. He's so expensive. Honestly, what has to happen? This is what has to happen. If you want to sign Mbappe, basically you have to give up your best player on your team and probably another hundred million. That's that's realistically what it takes to sign him. At least one of your top players, a player who's worth around two hundred million, and then you have to pay about hundred to two hundred. No, you have to pay about two hundred million. So in total, it's about four hundred to five hundred million just to sign Mbappe. You guys are seeing. I'm simming through all of this. We're looking for offers. There's just, there's no offers. I'm just repeating the process until deadline day. This is the last time I'm doing one like this with a player this big. Like I said, it's literally impossible. Mbappe is the biggest of them all. No one wants to sign him. I mean, this is, is this like, this is how you know it's a successful episode, right? We've made him so good that, uh, yeah, literally no one can afford him. So credit to us, I guess. So what do I do here? I'm going to give it a few more days. I'm not moving him back to Man City. I want to move to a different league. I have to trade him again, guys. Unless I just want to keep him on Liverpool for another season, which I just don't want to do. Although moving him to a smaller club would be fun, and we could. I want the freaking Champions League, so we're going to Bayern Munich. It has to be done. So who are we going to trade for? I guess Chiro Mobley? You know what? No, scratch that. Let's just send him to Barcelona. This would actually be funny, because the reason I'm doing this video is because Mbappe had a hat trick against Barcelona last night as I'm recording this. They had a hat trick against him, and Barcelona just got absolutely whooped. So, let's see if Mbappe can help resurrect Barcelona here. Might be, might be controversial. He is going to be joining a rival club from, obviously, the team, one of the teams he started at, Real Madrid. But that doesn't matter here. Will they accept is the question. Of course they're going to accept. Please say that this is going to be the club that we just... If we win the treble here, everything is saved, and this is a successful episode. Like I said, I wanted to average one trophy a season. We can still do that by winning the treble. Let's see what this team looks like. Pogba is in here. Ansu Fati up to an 86. This is definitely not the Barcelona team that we have in our My Player career mode. It's... Oh, God. I'm not, yeah. I don't know how to think about this team. I really don't know what to say. I don't know if it's good. I don't know. Bender at right back. That's just not going to do. Are there any players hidden down here? Trincao. Messi's obviously never going to play on this club. Hopefully, he doesn't. Yeah, I mean, Casemiro, Casemiro's on this team, bro. What? That's just, that's just, that's just random. Picking Casemiro. Okay. I don't know. I think I think we'll have a shot. I think we just... We got to hope. We got to pray. We got to cross our fingers. We got to not put Matip at center back. Let's see how this team does, boys. No need to edit develop or anything. We're already 99 overall. Will Barcelona be the team that saves the day? Let's find out. Can we cue some freaking dramatic music? Because this, this is it, boy. Like, I don't, this is, I've never had one of these like this, where we just can't physically win to save our life in club play. Great that we won the Euros, but we want more than that. Here we go. The league goes to Atletico Madrid. You're kidding me. The treble is out of reach, but two trophies still could be in reach. 
Copa de España. No. No. Yes! 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 Oh my god! How are we... How? 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 How are these clubs making it in the Copa de España? What are we doing? You know what? I'm not going to complain. We got one Champions League title. We may have not averaged that one trophy per season. But I'm fine. I, I will take that. Obviously, we're freaking 99 overall. It, it, it's not like we're going to shrink at 26 years old, right? Stat-wise, the best, probably the best season goal scoring. 40 goals, 9 assists. And boys, would you call it a success? When you start at 90 overall, you have high expectations. You expect like 200 goals and you expect at least 5 trophies. We undershot that. 181 goals, three trophies. I actually want to hear from you guys. What do you think down below in the comments? Dub or L? What are we saying? Appreciate the support of this series, guys. Again, let me know who you want next week. And with that, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.